Greetings, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful celebration. The contributions of the Caribbean American community are indeed woven throughout the fabric of our country. And those contributions are reflected in the lives of so many Americans with Caribbean roots, from Eric Holder and Colin Powell to Shirley Chisholm. And I'm proud to be with you as a vice president-elect with roots in the Caribbean. Thank you for the efforts that so many of you have made over the course of the campaign to get us to this moment. Whether it was participating in virtual events, making phone calls, or Zooming with us, you did the work. You helped lay the groundwork for this historic occasion. Now, because of you and so many others, our country is on a path to heal and rebuild. Of course, the road ahead won't be easy. Our nation continues to face challenges from the coronavirus pandemic to this economic recession, from our climate crisis to a long overdue reckoning with racial injustice, to healing and strengthening the democracy we all cherish. But we are ready to get to work, and we are filled with a sense of purpose. Winning this election was not the end of our work. In very important ways, it was the beginning. And President-elect Biden and I look forward to working with you every step of the way to usher in a brighter future for Caribbean Americans and all Americans. So I know this inauguration day may look a little different from years past, but let's all take a moment to celebrate. And then let's get to work building the America we know is possible. Thank you.